myself S. Bharati, Associate Professor of Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department, working in SA Engineering College. Now I am going to talk about very important concepts of electric circuits which is very useful for gear preparation. So electric circuits topics are, for the gauge syllabus we have electric circuits topics are network elements, ideal voltage and current sources, dependent sources, RLC, M elements, network solution methods, KCL, KBL, mesh analysis, nodal analysis, network theorems and sinusoidal set state analysis, all those topics are there. Under this, now today we are going to talk about the remnants theorem, network theorems. Uh, in network theorems, we have so many types of network theorems. Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, maximum power transfer theorem, like that. And these network theorems can be applied only for the linear bilateral network. Linear network is said to be the network in which we don't have any non-linear elements. For example, diode, transistor, this kind of elements are said to be the non-linear elements. If those elements are not present for the particular circuit, which consists of resistance, inductance and capacitance, we can go for applying this kind of theorems to find the particular value of current or voltage in particular element of the circuit. So now we are going for talking about Thevenin's theorem in detail. This is our Thevenin's theorem circuit. The concept of Thevenin's theorem is, already said, here we have a linear bilateral network. This kind of linear bilateral network, this network may be any big in size. It may consist of so many values of resistance, inductance, capacitance, current sources, voltage sources, anything may be present in this bilateral network, linear bilateral network. This network, here we have the load resistance RL. So if we want to find the current passing through the load resistance RL, this particular value of bilateral network, this particular part, this portion can be completely replaced by a simple network which consists of voltage source Vs in series with the range resistance Rs. So here this Vs may be VOC or the open circuit at voltage across the open circuit at terminals and Rs it may be the RTH value, the evidence resistance value which is the looking back resistance or we have to measure the resistance in this way that is our the resistance across or the impedance across the open circuited terminals. So the linear bilateral network, any linear bilateral network can be replaced by a simple network which consists of the voltage source VTH in series with Thevenin's resistance RTH. In case of AC circuit, it will be voltage source in series with ZTH. ZTH will be the Thevenin's impedance and VTH will be the Thevenin's voltage. This Thevenin's voltage is the voltage drop across the open circuited terminals and uh, Thevenin's impedance is nothing but, nothing but the impedance across the open circuited terminals. So like that, we can go for defining our Thevenin's theorem. Any circuit can be replaced by a simple circuit which consists of voltage source in series with Thevenin's resistance. Now we can go for some example problems for this. So I have taken this problem as an example for solving. Here we have given three impedances Z1, Z2, Z3 and the voltage source given us nothing but 100 angle 0. Now we have to find what is the Thevenin's impedance for this particular circuit. So here some options are given. Now we have to go for solving this particular problem for finding Thevenin's impedance. Now I will go for solving this. So here, see we have the Thevenin's impedance. Now we have to find the Thevenin's impedance for this particular circuit. Here we have taken the given circuit and the values are marked here. So here Z1 is given as 10 angle minus 16. Z2 is 10 angle plus 60 and Z3 is 50 angle 53.13. Now we have given the circuit like, like this. Here we, they have given the voltage uh, nothing but 100 angle 0. So here we have to measure what is the old, what is the impedance across the open circuit terminals X and Y. Here we have taken the ZTH value. Always the ZTH value, nothing but Thevenin's impedance value should be calculated looking into the open circuited terminals. So we, are, we have to look into the circuit like this. So if you look into the circuit like this, the Z1, Z2 will be in parallel. 
and this value of parallel combination will come in series with our Z3. So Z1 is in parallel with Z2 that will be in series with Z3. So first we have to find the parallel combination of Z1 and Z2. Z1 and Z2 parallel combination will be given by the formula Z1 into Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. So this combination of value will come in series with Z3. So now I am going for substituting the values. Z1 is nothing but 10 minus 60 and now Z2 is 10 plus 60 angle. So Z1, Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. That I like that I have substituted the values. And the plus RTH plus Z3 value. Z3 is 50, 53.20 that will be the angle. And uh, here we are finding the solution for this. 10 into 10 will be 100. Minus 60 plus 60 will become 0. So like that we have simplified our the numerated part divided by. Now here 10 and 60, this 10 angle minus 60. This will be the polar form. We cannot go for adding in polar form. So we are going for converting this value into a complex form. So the complex value for 10 and 60 is 5 minus 8.66 J. And for this again 10 minus 60 angle. For that it will be 5 plus 8.66 J. So if you are going for adding this, this minus 8.66 plus 8.66 will get cancelled. So we will get only 10. 5 plus 5, 10. So 100 by 10 plus, we have to go for adding this value with this value, with this 10 by 10, 100 by 10. So 50 angle 53.3, that cannot be added with the 100 value because that is in polar form. Again we are going for converting this 50 angle 53.13 into rectangle form. So rectangle form of 50 angle 53.13 is nothing but 40 plus 40j. Now we can go for adding the real part and imaginary parts. 10 plus 40 will be the real part so we can go for adding it that will be 50 and 40j will be the imaginary part. So the answer in rectangular format is nothing but 50 plus 40j. Now we have to convert this in polar form because we have given the multiple choice options in polar form. So we have to go for converting this into polar form. ZTH is equal to 56.56 angle 45 degree. So the polar form of this value is nothing but 56.56 angle 45 degree. Now we can go for checking this answer with the multiple choice answers given and we can choose what is the answer as correct. So now see we have calculated 56.6 as the magnitude value and 45 degree as the angle value for the particular ZTH finding. So now this will be the correct answer like that you can go for choosing the option A. So this is one of our gate question. So in this way only we have to go for solving the problem if they are asking to find ZTH. So we have to look into the open circuited terminal. RL is open circuited. Here open circuit already XY is in open circuited condition itself. So we have to look into the open circuited terminal to find the value of ZTH. This is the way to find the problem solution. Next we will go for seeing one more example. I will go for next problem. So in this problem, again they have given one source and in parallel with some value. So this is nothing but a circuit, some linear circuit it is given. XY is nothing but the open circuited terminal, RL is already open circuited. So XY is the open circuited terminal. In this case, we have to find what is the equivalent thevenance parameters. So we have to find what is the voltage, thevenance voltage and what is the thevenance resistance or in this case thevenance impedance. So we have to calculate thevenance voltage as well as thevenance impedance. So first, normally in case of calculating thevenance impedance, So we will go for solving this problem. I can go for solving this problem. So this is the problem given for us and some multiple choice answers are given. We have to choose what is the best correct answer. So here the circuit given us some current source with parallel impedance. Usually when we are calculating the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, the circuit given when we are calculating ZTH, we have to go for open circuiting the current sources and short circuiting the voltage sources. For example, if you are given the source like this, voltage 
here we have the resistance like that if the voltage source and current source so here if the voltage source value and resistance values are given like this first step is here rl is there means first we have to go for calculating uh, first we have to go for open circuiting rl so rl is open circuited means our circuit will, will, will become like this now the voltage source must be short circuited voltage source must be short circuited like this now this is the circuit to which we have to find the terminus resistance so in the same manner here also we have to go for but here we have given voltage source so voltage source means we will go for short circuit short circuiting it suppose if it is a current source value suppose if it is a current source this current source must be open circuited so in this case in this problem current source is given so we have to go for open circuiting the current source so if you open circuit the current source the circuit will become like this and now here we have the impedance value and this will be the open circuited terminal so like this what we have to go for look into the circuit if you want to find zdh zdh value is nothing but in this way we have to look into the circuit so here if you look the circuit only the impedance present in this particular branch will be same as that of zdh value so the impedance present in this branch itself will give the value of zdh so here you can say zdh is nothing but 1 plus 2j minus j 1 2j or minus j resistance inductance capacitance all are in series so you can go for adding that particular value finally you will be getting the answer 1 plus j so this 1 plus j will be the evidence impedance value for this particular problem as we have open circuited the current source as per the procedure so here zdh value will be the 1 plus j value now zdh we have calculated and this is okay now we have to go for calculating the evidence voltage so voltage the evidence voltage is nothing but the voltage across the open circuited terminal so the voltage across the open circuited terminal is nothing but the voltage drop across this particular branch so now we have to go for finding the voltage across this particular branch here the current source and the impedance are present for the circuit so we can go for calculating b by the formula i into z so here i value is nothing but 1 angle 0 degree and z value is nothing but 1 plus 2j minus j nothing but here we have calculated 1 plus 1j that will be the value so here we have to go for uh, so here we have to go for 1 angle 0 degree will be the current source value and z value is nothing but 1 plus 1j so like this we have to go for multiplying current and impedance value to find the value of v again there is a complex number 1 plus 1j that cannot be multiplied with your polar form so we have to go for converting that rectangular form into polar form so if you convert this rectangular form into polar form we will get 1.414 angle 45 degree now this will be the polar form value here this is multiplication only so we can go for multiplying 1 1.414 so the answer will be 1.414 angle may be added in case of multiplication so 0 degree plus 45 degree will become 45 degree angle so the value final value is 1.414 angle 45 degree this 1.414 is equivalent to root 2 root 2 45 degree will be the Thevenin's voltage value so now for this particular circuit given in the problem we have calculated Thevenin's voltage as well as Thevenin's impedance now we can go for framing the equivalent circuit Thevenin's voltage in series with Thevenin's impedance will give up a Thevenin's equivalent circuit in this case they are asking what is VTH and what is ZTH now we can go for referring whether this answer is correct or not in our PPT now we can go for referring it so in this problem we have got the value root 2 angle 45 degree will be the voltage value and 1 plus j will be the impedance value so the option d will be correct so this is also one of the gate problem which is uh, solved root 2 45 degree angle will be the voltage thevenin's voltage and 1 plus j ohm will be the thevenin's impedance so in this lecture i have solved only two problems related with our thevenin's theorem and uh, in our future uh, lectures we can go for continuing our uh, thevenin's theorem 
and then we can go for naptans or um, maximum power transfer which is very related with our evidence theory. Thank you.